What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to go ahead and take a little bit of a look at a couple new Digimon cards. These daily reveals are carrying on rather nicely. And that means that we get to talk more Digimon. And you know the deal by now. If they keep doing daily reveals and you guys keep watching the videos, because seriously, my Digimon views are very healthy. Please don't stop watching. I'll be sad. Then I'm just going to keep bringing you daily Digimon reveals. I'm kind of excited. So today we've got a couple of blue cards. Our translations come from the lovely Jason Snowjacks. And apparently we've got Koamon. Mon Mon. And we've got Karubaramon. I, I, I don't know. Saberamon? Let's go for Saberamon. That's what people seem to be going for. You know, I'm, I'm not an expert on Digimon, but I am pretty knowledgeable when it comes to card games. So let's start off with Mon Mon then. Or Koamon. I don't know. It's a level 3 Digimon. And it is a 4 cost to play normally. 1 cost to evolve. Now this is pretty huge. Because remember in the video we talked about yesterday, we said level 3s are free to evolve. And in fact, yesterday we saw our first example of a level 3 that wasn't free to evolve. It was Kokuamon, a green card that cost 1 to evolve. But we said that the green cards as a whole seemed like they had weird evolution costs, so we weren't worried too much. Well, now we've seen a blue card that costs one to evolve, and that's a bit weird. It's also got 1,000 power, which is pitiful. So essentially here, what we've got is an expensive card, because, oh yeah, paying four for a free cost is expensive. So we've got an expensive card to play normally. We've got... To, four isn't unheard of, but it, it's on the higher end. We've got a very expensive card to evolve, and it's got low power. And as a side note, I did say this in yesterday's video. Having to pay to evolve a level 3 is huge. Because if you go first, on turn 1, you start with zero memory. The first time you pay any memory, it goes to your opponent's turn. If you've got a level 3, the vast majority of them, that you don't pay to evolve, you then get to play another card, a level 4, a tamer, etc. before it goes to your opponent's turn. If, however... You pay to evolve your level 3, it goes straight to your opponent's turn and you don't get to play a second card. That is a very big deal. But you've got Blocker. Oh. Yeah, Blockers are great. Blockers are brilliant. Blockers are necessary. You see, what Blocker does, it allows you to turn a Digimon into rest mode... And then direct an attack towards it. So if your opponent is trying to go for your security stack... Or a resting Digimon that you want to keep alive. You rest your Digimon and that becomes the focus of the attack. And Monmon is not surviving this, alright? Monmon's going away. Monmon's done. Because it's got 1,000 power. It's going down. Unless you're boosting up the power somehow. And against a really weak Digimon. But it doesn't matter. That's not the point of Monmon. The point of Monmon is, hey, I've paid one to evolve. Now I've got a blocker. Come at me, bro. Remember, there are five security cards that each player has at the beginning of the game. And once those five security cards are gone, you attack, you win. And I have gone on record on these videos several times and said that these games are going to be very, very quick and favouring aggro, unless we get a bunch of good blockers and recovery cards. Recover puts extra security cards out. So we need these blockers. We did actually see three blockers in the starter sets. So there's one in each starter set, and they are exactly the same. Koredramon in the red starter set. We saw Grizzlymon in the blue starter set. And we saw Unimon in the yellow starter set. And they all do exactly the same thing. They are all level 4, 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to evolve, 6,000 power blockers. But when they attack, they give up 2 memory. So here we've got on a blocker, which is cheaper to play and cheaper to evolve than any of those. And you don't have to pay to attack. And okay, you've got 1,000 power, but... There are going to be plenty of turns during the game where 
you want to attack with this. And you know that if any security Digimon comes out, you're going down. Though if an optional Tamer card comes out, you don't, and you will actually live to block another day. But you still take out a security card. Like, if you attack into the stack, and you hit a uh, Plesiamon, they might have 12,000 power, you've got 1,000 power, you go down, but you, you still take out that security card. The thing is, you might have your opponent with something like a War Greymon with four evolution sources and security attack plus two. So they're attacking three of your five security cards. This might be a tiny little 1,000 power Digimon, but you get to block them. See where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? Having a cheap blocker is awesome. But what about the other dude? Well, the name we're going with apparently is Severamon. And it is a level 5 Digimon, 6 cost to play normally, 3 cost to evolve, 6,000 power. And if we compare that to the cards in the starter set for level 5s, comes out quite favourably. It's on the lower end for level 5s that tend to be 6 or 7. It costs 3 to evolve and if I'm remembering this correctly, all the level 5s in the starter set cost 3 to evolve. So, okay, that seems about right. And 6,000 power, eh, it, it's on the slightly lower end, I'll be honest with you. Most level 5s tend to have about 7,000 power. So, this is on the lower end, boo, hiss, etc. In fact, in the starter set, each of the decks had two level 5s, and all of them had 7,000 power. Though we can look at promo cards like the Wear Garurumon, who does have 6,000 power. So okay, it's on the cheaper end, it's on the weaker end, but what does it actually do? It keeps going. When you attack, limited to twice per turn, you may discard three cards from your hand to make this Digimon active. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that's potentially broken. That is potentially ridiculously over-the-top stuff stupidly broken now we're gonna need a bunch of drawing here we're going to want to draw some cards that's fairly important but do remember i showed you the gomamon from new evolution the other day that lets you draw a card when you play it so you know go gomamon although to be fair you draw a card when you evolve and you draw a card when you play that we've not seen much so far in terms of increasing hand size you get to replace cards Play a card, draw a card. But we've not seen much in the way of really increasing your hand size. We're going to need a bit more. If we get some really good draw cards, this becomes stupid. Because you essentially get to attack three times during your turn. However, you're only 6,000 power. And it is a non-inheritable skill, so you've got to stay at a level 5. So the question is, what do you do? Now what you could do is mix this in with a red deck. Because the red deck has a bunch of options for boosting power. You've got things like the Tamer that just gives your Digimon an extra 1,000 power. Or, of course, you can go nuts with stuff like Shadow Wing, a one-cost option card that gives one of your Digimon an extra 3,000 power. And you're going to need stuff like that. Because 6,000 power ain't enough. Sure, you can attack, take out a security card... Discard three cards, make yourself ready, attack, take out a security card. Discard three cards, attack, take out a security card. However, you got 6,000 power. So if you hit a security Digimon with 6,000 power or above, you'll be taken down, you'll be destroyed, and it's done. Ah, that's not a good thing. What is a good thing is this is way, way better than security attack plus two. Security Attack Plus 2 lets you attack free security cards. This lets you attack three times. Firstly, it means you can mix up attacking security cards and resting Digimon. And secondly, let's say your opponent has two security cards left. If you've got Security Attack Plus 2, you attack three security cards. There's only two. You take them out and nothing happens. You haven't won the game. If you've got this, you attack a security card, make yourself active, attack a security card, now they've got zero, make yourself active, attack for the win. This strikes me as the kind of card that needs a bunch of support but could be broken. If you've got some good ways to raise the power, such that you're surviving all of these attacks, 
And we get some good draw engines so you can really beef up your hand. Because if you don't have six cards in hand, it's irrelevant anyway. This can be huge. It's not something you can use willy-nilly every turn. Because you will be just wrecking your hand and losing resources. But if you've got a good board and you don't need anything and you can afford to discard cards from your hand, this could be legitimately broken. And bearing in mind, this isn't the only blue card we've seen that can make itself active. We've seen Metal Garurumon that once per turn when you attack makes itself active. We've seen the Garurumon from the set that when it's played, you make one of your Digimon active. <laughs> Which means you could potentially use this dude four times during your turn. Which is, um, let's just say a little bit over the top silly good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a phenomenal card. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of it. I'm a big fan of both of the cards that have been revealed today, quite frankly. I think both of these are going to be pretty gosh darn good. But I would be very interested to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other games like Pokemon. There are some similarities between them, but also Marvel Champions and Final Fantasy and all kinds of fun things. And do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.